Hey guys, thanks for checking out the video. I'm going to be talking about how I disassembled my basically whole setup and put it all into a new desk, and that's the Rab Audio desk for 36 inch consoles or less. So let's get into it. I started out with tearing everything apart. Obviously, as you see, I'm doing my best to undo the side rack. I had a couple screws that didn't play nice, so I ended up having to take those apart off screen, but that's okay. Um, got in behind the console, undid everything, did my best to make sure that when it came time to pulling all this cable apart that it would come apart smoothly, but it had basically been put together over a course of time, and, and it was a big rat's nest, so it was fun to undo, but nevertheless, I figured it out. Got everything pretty much sorted out before I put it all aside, like by what kind of cable and where it came from and that kind of thing. Jumping forward a little bit here, you see that I've already had the two side racks already put together. Now, I work in the film industry and work some pretty long days, so I kind of put this together over a course of a few days. And so, I had some time off on Sunday, and I went for it. I went to put everything in there. It took me the better part of the day. Now, I did this by myself, so I'm sure with, the, with someone helping you, you could probably build this in a whole day and put it all together. But, anyways, when I designed... When I decided to do all of this, I was pretty meticulous about my cable management. I knew I had to be. There was a couple of things that I knew I was not going to have, like space in certain areas. I couldn't just use the back of the floor or something like that. Um, so I had to make sure that cable runs would make it and that some, where there would be a bottleneck where things would go through the side of the panel or something like that, I could actually get everything through there. I mean, it's a lot of breakout. Um, for the console and the interfaces and that's basically where I started once I got the patch bays in I spaced them out a little bit so I could get my fingers in there and work a little bit easier part of the cable management process too was layering everything I put the console and the interfaces in first because that was going to take the most amount of copper but it was also going to be the most permanent when it came time to expanding or taking away things, it was going to be easier to work on top of that than rather than underneath it, if it makes sense. Um, any moment now you'll see me on the screen laying some cables out um, over just like that and realizing that I misjudged some cable runs and but not, not in a big deal, it just meant that I had to swap some stuff around. It was probably maybe 5-10 minutes of extra work added on to it, but you know, that was my fault, it's okay. You know, even through all that planning, I made a little bit of an error, but nevertheless, the planning was still very important. As the console and the interfaces went in, I realized how much space I was going to be left with, and it wasn't going to be a lot. So it took me a long time to really put cables in to the compartments as neatly as I could, but at the same time, not adding stress to anything or any kind of strain on any connectors. Now that the console and the interfaces are in the patch base, I'm going to start putting in my outboard gear. Not a lot of it, but it's going to fill up most of the rack on the right. My 500 series rack is going to go in the left side because it's got pretty much the shortest cable run and easiest cable run. With, I'm going to try to limit what I'm going to put in over here because there's a lot of cable in, in there already, thus the patch base. Now I did buy the ears for my 500 series rack separately and put them together myself and you know I'm glad I put it in the desk because even though it's not all finished it's just starting to really come together and look like a desk. I used a 19 inch rack shelf on the right side kind of underneath the monitor stand there to just hold some rack gear that's not 19 inch and I can like still get in there and use it above my quarter inch pass through like patch bay. Um, at this point, the majority of the build was over. I had to put, to put the last little pieces of the desk together, like the front sides and the keyboard tray, and I ended up doing that stuff off camera because my phone did die and I didn't capture the last of it, but I am going to shift to some pictures that show what it looks like in the end, and there it is. I mean, this was a great experience. I'm glad I did it. A huge workflow improvement for me i hope you liked the video give it a thumbs up if you did and if you think i've earned it shoot me a subscribe and we'll see you in the next video